it's Angela Davis with Angela Decorates. I'm back. Where have I been? I have been working outside the home for the last couple of years, but recently I came back to home and decided to focus on my own business, AngelaDecorates.com. I'm going to be doing some designing, decorating, commercial, laser engraving, all kinds of things. So there's a lot to look forward to. I'm very excited and I'm very excited to share it with you, but I won't get into a lot of that here. If you want to, maybe I'll do a Facebook Live, so follow me on Facebook um, at Angela Decorates. But I'm really excited to be back on YouTube with my tutorials. I'm also learning TikTok, so that's interesting. Um, but my first tutorial is a Halloween tutorial, a Halloween tree. So let's get started. Okay, here's the little pink tree we are going to decorate. Pink for Halloween, yes! So, um, you may be wondering what this room is. Actually, it is a little room above what is the breezeway between connecting the house, which is where I'm standing, and past that door is my craft room, which is above the garage. So, this is just a little breezeway space. But I always thought it would be cool to have it as like a little sitting room, Bible study, uh, just chilling area. So that's what I did. And I covered the walls with decoupaged dress patterns, which I really, really love. Some people might think it's crazy, but I love it. And my mom and I made these really pretty hot pink, Barbie pink if you will, curtains. And it just has some little knickknacks, some family photos and whatnot. Um, and that picture is a picture of my grandma, which I called Mima. And um, she's no longer with us and I miss her dearly. But I loved that photo and I uh, put some glitter on her corsage and I just thought it was amazing. And she was always glamorous and well-dressed and um, my first lover of leopard print, so, um, and I have some things she, she wrote, her prayer list over there. So this is a very special room for me. This is my area. So I brought this pink tree in and I thought this is going to be the tree that I decorate for me for all the seasons. So this season for Halloween it's going to be a kind of a witch's cauldron theme. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about what I did in this step. I have the tree topper secured with a pick and then it's secured with zip ties, or zip tie holders with pipe cleaners in a couple of different places. And then I added a bow got the ribbon, I think at Mel's Crafting Mojo and Craft Outlet, Craft Outlet, Craft Outlet. And then I added a few bows just kind of randomly around the tree. But I also cut about a yard of ribbon. This is this black Swiss dot also from Craft Outlet. It's four inches wide. And one end I secured back here. I kind of cinched it up and wrapped a pipe cleaner around it and tied it into the tree. And then I kind of looped it around, used the tree to gather it in a couple of places. And so I did that randomly around the tree. Those are, those are uh, yard strips of ribbon cut and just kind of cascading around the tree. So now the next step is to add our ornaments. Okay, now we have added the little pink potion cauldrons just kind of randomly around the tree. I did make these. They're out of a quarter inch MDF and painted and the potion has glitter, translucent glitter on it. They are secured again with the zip tie holders and pipe cleaners. I do 
uh, use Gorilla hot glue on those zip tie holders. I don't just rely, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't just rely on the adhesive. So now the last step, which sometimes I think is the most important step, is adding the floral picks. Okay, so here you have the tree. It's kind of creepy crawly now with all of the spider picks. I think I got those at the wreath shop. Anyway, I just always love adding floral picks. I think it just adds a whole other dimension to your designs. So they just kind of look like they're crawling all over the tree. I don't really mind spiders, but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of my recipe for trees at the moment. It could always change, always evolve. But hope you enjoyed this, hope it inspires you. I'd love to see your Halloween trees. And more to come. Thanks for watching.